Hi friends, this is Susie, your gaming guru. It is May 16th, 2022. I'm here for my Wordle of the day and for Sea Monkey Day. Yes, sea monkeys. So yesterday we had Columbia House Records. And this advertisement is even worse because at least with Columbia House, you actually got records, even if you ended up paying sometimes an exorbitant price for them. But this, oh my goodness, you only paid a little bit of money. What you got were these pets that would do stunts and tricks and they looked like this and they lived in a castle. And that was simply amazing that you could have this royal family in your home. And nobody told me that they were brine shrimp. A patented variety of brine shrimp that swam around and looked exactly like brine shrimp. And not like these people here, these very anthropomorphized little creatures who are supposed to do all sorts of stunts and tricks. And here's the thing. This really taught me uh, that there are fraudulent products going out because I got the sea monkeys and I was so thrilled and I started them out and I was despondent over the fact that you know, even with my little magnifying glass that came with the set, uh, they still were not anything like what they were advertised to be. And that didn't stop me because I still, I wanted it to be real. I wanted it to work so well that they sent me a book with additional advertisements and different things that I could get for my little sea monkey family. And one of them was a vacuum cleaner. And I thought, well, I can redeem this at least. It's like a buck to buy this vacuum cleaner. And so I got a buck together and I sent off for my vacuum cleaner. It was an eyedropper. It was a stinking little, not, not even a really good eyedropper. It was like, oh, what do they call those? I'll come up with it as I'm doing my wordle of the day um a, a pipette it's called it's a pipette it was this little plastic bulb at the end pipette all right i should use i should start with the word fraud i was going to start with brine though let me think about this uh oh why can i do this oh here i'm doing it the wrong way so we're going to reload i'm going to stick with brine I should have done fraud. All right, well, we got an E. Can we do fraud? Mm, no. No, we shouldn't because we know that an R isn't in there. But what should we do? Let's take a look at some other leftover letters here. S, T, L, not N. I was checking to see if the N was there. I almost wrote it. And we already know an E is there. So let's try to come up with other vowels, like an O, or an A, or a U, or a Y. Hmm. I don't think S-T-O-A-L is a word. I keep wanting to use the E, but I already know it's there. And really, a five-letter word ending in E, that really is you know, as close to an infinite supply of letters I could get without knowing any additional information other than subtracting out these four. So I need more information. I need lots of information. I wish lots of were a word. Let's try it. Isn't there a bear in... Toy Story named Lotsa. Wow. Lotsa is a word? Are they using it like the contraction, the colloquialism of lots of? Okay, well, I don't know, but we got it. I'm a little bit surprised and now a little bit disappointed because I only have an L here. 
that's still not enough information at all. And I'm disappointed that lots of was a word because there was an L, but I was going to keep working with those letters anyway, so I just, just, should just get over that part. All right, so let's see. I need more words. Something else that either only uses an L in a different slot or uses completely new letters. What about mulch? What if I try mulch? M-U-L-C-H. Yeah, let's try that. That's new letters, except the L. I mean, at this point in time, we probably have some unusual letters. We get to use up that U. Yeah, I'm going to go for it. Oh my goodness, what in the world could this be? We probably have unusual letters in here, and that's the problem. So let's think of construction and where... Oh wait, that's not a blue, that's a green. First of all, let's think of what could go here. Well, another E could go here, right? If if so, though, it would have to be like a Y. Oh, see now, I keep using the wrong color. Do we have it there? A Y and an E. I don't know what it would be if that were the case. I feel like it should be something. But I don't see what else it would be. L Y E? Because I feel like we need we need the E. I'm sorry, the Y for another vowel. But what if we just use another E for a vowel? What if what if there's an E here? And there are consonants here. Would that work? What consonant would work here? L Q E. No, because we would need a U. L W E. L W E. L Y. L P. Elp. I need Elp. Eld. What about Mel? No. I mean, Mel doesn't spell that way unless it's old English, as far as I know. I'm still looking. Elv. Oh, I think I might have it. Delve. What about delve? D E L V E. D. It would be using the E twice. L V E. If it's not delve, I don't get a whole lot of information. And I still think it might have a Y in there somewhere. I've already taken out the S, though. I keep feeling like there's an S and a Y in there somewhere. Or it could be self. Could be anything else besides delve. I also think K might go there. But I think that there might be words that I don't know, and I'm trying to come up with them. Let's try Delve. Oh, we got three more tries. So if this doesn't work, we have two more shots. All right. All right, let me double check. D, E, L, V, E. It would be using an unusual letter and we would have a duplicate. That's pretty tricky and right along the lines of what, oh good, they would try. All right, that is it for me. If you have any questions or comments, please put those below. And as always, thank you so much for watching. Bye-bye.